What's that? Uh, we rolling. We rolling. Yeah. Hey y'all, listen, man. We got four. We got three scripts gonna come out in his last word. The elder and founder, man. He's been emceeing, navigating his word. The son, he bust y'all head with some precepts, man. Um, listen, we're gonna recap this before my bro bring out that Isaiah 47 11. Um, this is where we at. Wanna have ish grabbing, bro? That what is that? 47 11. Isaiah 47 11. Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, please bring that out, Mr. Mr. Uh, ish my Israel. Uh, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Sudden death. Ain't that what he's doing? I, yep. All this shit that's happening is already in play. All these murders that you're seeing, the shootings and all of that, Give it to them one more time, Isha. Just give give it to them a little slower, man, so they can really understand your uh, stands me. Isaiah is. chapter 47, verse 11. Yeah. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. Stop right there. So when the Lord bring that fuck shit out, it's going to, you ain't going to even see it coming. Keep going, bro. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Can't get out the way of it. Come. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Ain't that what we ain't we in those days right now? Yep. Like, dude, we can't even get out of the way of the pandemonium overdose. So the only thing you can do is fear the Lord, dude. But guess what? They ain't gonna listen. I'm gonna give them a reason why they need to listen. Elder! Could you please give us Deuteronomy 32, 39? You can run. But you can't hide. But you can't hide. Deuteronomy 28, 29? Uh, 32, 32 39. 39. Yeah, because see, look, the whole message of today is fearing the Lord, dude. That's that's your best bet. It's fearing the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 29, and it reads, Oh, that they were wise that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. Is that Deuteronomy 32? 32. 39. 32, 39. Yeah, 32, okay. 39. Um, yep. Oh, okay. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. That's Satan, ain't it? See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I deliver and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That means when he on you, it's over. Nothing can stop it. No one and nothing can stop it. His agenda. No. So the thirteen year old that got killed. Satan can't stop his agenda. So wait a minute. That's How funny. can Satan throw a monkey wrench in the Lord's agenda by sneaking and killing you? And the Lord had ah, I didn't want him dead. You bogus. It now start, I gotta go clean up your mess. It starts with the Lord and it ends with the Lord. Exactly. So think about it, ah, that's beautiful. So these thirteen year olds that's dying, couldn't nothing nobody do about it. Nothing. What about the ten year old? Nothing. Can anybody do anything about it? What about the 14 year old? I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You can't be Dang. saved by anybody, protected by anybody. Think about that. I, when the Lord wake up and say, today you're out of there, can't nothing stop it. Your arm's too short. <laughs> Ain't that what the Christians say? Bro, your arms too short to box with the Lord. Let me tell you, bro, that's one of the Lord's greatest freestyles right there. Yep. Deuteronomy 32 39. Dog, matter of fact, we got one more scripture, man. I'm gonna have the elder close us out before I before we do that, though. Elder, you brought out Deuteronomy 32 39, right. 
it says, see now that I, even I, who is Yahweh, am he. In other words, I'm who the fuck I is. There is no other understand me but me. He says, I murder, I kill, I put dicks in the dirt with one finger. I, when you get in your car and a motherfucker smash and kill you, I did it. When a nigga gets shot in his head 17 times, I do it. Mm -hmm. When a 10 year old go to McDonald's to get a hamburger and catch a stray bullet, I do it. And a baby get ran over by a lawnmower. I do it. I do it. Kobe went to a basketball game with his daughter. The helicopter came down on the ground and killed everybody. I did that. Yeah. Tupac was in Vegas on the script, having a good time at the Tyson fight. I did those shootings. Mm -hmm. Biggie Smalls, I did that. Bro, the Lord said, I mm -hmm. kill. Yeah. And then he said, I make alive. In other words, if you are living and have breath in your body right now, he's the reason. <laughs> if you're alive right now, he is the reason, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, I wound. So if you somewhere with a gun wound, the Lord but popped you in your shit. Mm -hmm. If you got an eye issue like my brother had, the Lord put the mix on his eye. Yep. The son lost conscious, fell, hurt himself in the tub. The Lord did that to him. Hurt his hand. The Lord did it to him. He didn't do it. No, the Lord did that. Any ailments that you have, the Lord is telling you, I fucked you over. He says, and I heal. His eye. The autometrist didn't do that. The Lord did. The Lord did. had asthma. He ain't got no more. The Lord stopped that. Yeah. Anybody that's had cancer and don't have it no more, the Lord did that. Yeah. What are we saying, dude? It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The police, uh, Buddy Earl and them, it, uh, Whack 100 and them, uh, Big U, can't none of them save you, protect you. Satan himself can't protect you when the Lord is on your ass. What are we saying? You don't want the Lord. You don't want to get on this killing spree sheet. If you on his list to get your shit decapitated, that means you might as well just welcome the decapitation because ain't nothing you can do no. to stop it. So for the rest of your life, take the deep breath and know that any given time you're going to get some bad news or some really, really hardcore pain. A.K.A. just fear me. Yeah. Just fear me. Now, guess what? For all of you, this is my brother. This is my brother's favorite scripture that Luke 17, 27, man. You can give us that. All right, we're going to be ready to close it out. To you, my brother said, y'all love to be enchanted. So all of you enchanters out there, Luke, what? Sorry, what? Luke 17, verse 27, mm -hmm. 27. This is for all you worldly enchanted individuals that just want to live it up, barbecue, Jazz in the park, the Bucks game, Deer District, the tailgate at the Brewers, the Packers, the celebrating, all these. This one's for you. Brother, can you please enlighten all the worldly, earthly enchanters? Mm -hmm. Dude, up, oh, sorry. Luke chapter 17, verse 27, words of Yahweh They did eat. They drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. <sighs> right, because they, they enchanted. Had so, they not been enchanted, they'd have got on the boat. Think about it, bro. 
when you look at that scripture in today's context, right? What the Lord is saying, dude, I'm fucking up everybody every day. How many more do I need to kill for you to get out of the enchantment of this bullshit? I'm going to keep killing until I kill somebody to where you don't want to celebrate none of that shit that you, these marriages and drinking and all of that. I'm going to keep killing until you don't feel no joy and wanting to eat and nothing except wanting to get in that corner. How we do I, every week when we flinch from the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we at with Now look, my man's dad was laid to rest today. Yep. Today. And because of that, we're saying, yeah, and because of that, what we're saying is, okay, we know we're in the two-minute warning. Yes. This is what we call the walkthrough. We're, we're doing a death rehearsal walkthrough. Yeah, y'all didn't know that. If you're living today, all you should be doing is a death rehearsal walkthrough. Guess what? Here's, here's what we're saying. If, if you get a phone call, about me dying. Don't don't be surprised. Oh, we already <laughs> do not be surprised. Yeah. Like yeah. After going through this the <laughs> few times that I have. Hey, bro. You get a phone call of enjoy dead. Do not be surprised. Don't even flinch. Listen, we go, I'm gonna have my bro share this with y'all because he did it already, but I'm gonna have him rebring it out as we get ready to close. Like, dog, literally, we wasted our time by even flinching. But you know you're going to flinch. But I'm just saying, boy, oh, boy. Let me ask you Why are you I, surprised? Let me ask you this, bro. Like, when did you think it was going to happen? Right. Now, have you killed anybody? Nope. Have you did anything worthy of someone killing you? Nope. Do, do, do the Lord care that you ain't killed nobody? Nope. Now, you, you're, you're a pretty healthy young man. Nice specimen for a young man. No homo. Do the Lord care about any of that? No exercise of profit is little. What happened to you on Lover's Lane in Silver Spring not too long ago? Shit, I thought I was having a heart attack. What else you thought was going to happen? You thought you was going to die. I thought I was going to die, yeah. This wasn't that long ago, y'all. It was two weeks ago. I had to call the ambulance. I was having a panic attack. Nigga. It was so, so bad, I thought I was dying. So guess what happened that day? When my brother was, was on the ground having this episode and he called 911, right? Guess what was happening when you applied to this? The Lord was like, yeah. one of these times, you ain't going to have the opportunity to call 911. Somebody's going to be coming up here to verify who the fuck you are. AKA, what are we saying? We don't get to choose how our chickens come on the roost. We don't get to choose. My bro, that morning, when my bro did his cardio, I can bet you a million dollars. I can bet you a million dollars. Yeah, Not one thought head. came to his head that, holy shit, I'm about to die. You know why it didn't come to his mind? Because when you look at life the way we look at it, we go by what we're accustomed to, what we're used to. If nothing is hurting, if everything is functionable, Oh, life is great. Guess what we understand now? Hitting. When shit is working at its best, that's the scariest you should be. Right. When you at your healthiest, when you at the point where you can't go wrong, that's when your ass should be really, really. When what they say, I, when all the cylinders, uh, what they how, what when they call it? Yeah, when you firing on all cylinders, your ass is closer to death than you think. So what are we saying? I have a testimony just like my brother do. Every night that I go to bed, I be scared as hell because I don't know if I'm going to be able to wake up that next morning. You know how fucking frustrating that is to go to bed. I used to go to bed and couldn't, couldn't, couldn't wait for the next morning. Like I'm looking forward to the next morning like it was guaranteed. Now, when I go to bed, it's like, oh, shit. 
When I wake up the next morning, oh man, it's so amazing. It's so amazing, man. I'm going to tell you why. Because every day, somebody go to bed and don't wake up. So if you're watching this video, that means you went to bed last night and the Lord allowed you to rise to your feet. You better put some respect on it. If you're watching this video, whatever you're doing today, you better take some time out and put some respect on it. I guarantee you. What are we saying, dude? Each day that the Lord allow us to breathe, he could take that at the same time. I don't think they caught that. I, just like that. You can literally order a cheeseburger <laughs> as soon as you reach in your pocket <laughs> to pay for that cheeseburger. What the Lord can do to you, bro? Knock you out. So look, man. Hey, what they say, I whelp. You know, when you hear whelp, that means we're, we're pretty much, hey, man, it's pretty much a dumb one. Hey, listen, man, I hope y'all uh, was, was edified by today's word. Um, the elder, man, allow the elder to already close this out. But let me just say this to y'all, man, so y'all can really understand us, dude. There's really nothing here on earth to do but to fear the Lord. What up? Ain't nothing else to do. Oh no, I told him but to fear the Lord. Yo, I told him okay. So um as we get ready to close out this word, is is it anything that, that you want to add on? Anything interesting, anything you've seen? Oh yeah. My man's here had a high school homeboy. Can you tell them what happened so to that God, to that uh, individual? My guy that got me in my job now just died like two days ago. Oh, he the one that? No, that's a whole different person. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. What? My dog, I told you about, I just knew him. He wasn't really. Well, my oh. guy, this is like actually my friend. You know okay, he and he died? Like, uh, what was the situation? Nobody been saying nothing. But it looked like from, the, from what people been saying, it sounded like suicide. Wow. So... Well, hey, man. That's what it sounds like. So it's like, damn, I've been thinking about that shit nonstop. Damn, that just goes, look, that just add on to the same age. He See might that? be a little bit older than me, maybe a year, but yeah. same age. So what are we saying, y'all, as the, I get ready to turn it over to the L door to close this out? Let me tell you something, man. Those that you love the most in this life, keep on loving them. But keep in mind, love the Lord first. We serve a jealous God. And if he see that you love anything more than him, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all better stop playing, man. The Lord does not care. He ain't precious. How can we kill, is he? Nope. So let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get your man read. I'm going to lead it over to the elder, man. Oh, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rapha, Dodge. Shalom to all the aqua and I give. And I just like to say this, man. Rest in peace to my dad, man. You know. Facts. 100. 100. Oh, yeah, man. That's that's what's up, man. 100, man. Mm -hmm. Good man. Good man. Good man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, I, you came from this nutsack, man. Right. And he and he looked like his dad too. Yep. So hey, I'm gonna add on to the closing out of the word. Listen, man. Today, the Lord, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us uh, to get together to have this session. We thank you for uh, almost allowing us to close this because we still gotta close it. <laughs> so right, an airplane can crash to yeah, the top of the house. Yeah. So what we're saying is this, man. Um, we 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 we're very thankful that the Lord has continued to be merciful to us, that he's continued to bestow grace upon us, favor upon us. And let me tell you, we appreciate everything that the Lord is doing to us. And like my bro say, we at the stage of our life now where we can't run from death. We got to embrace it. We got to embrace it. Stop running from it. Embrace it. Mm -hmm. Because when you start to embrace death, 
you live a lot easier. Yeah. Cause well, that, cause you start understanding the fear is it should be a smile. Yeah. Like, like I know you gonna get me. Like right. okay, you know. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, yeah. then right. that's what you supposed to know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when you say hi, yeah, yeah you supposed, you supposed <laughs> to know. Like, yeah. Okay, so that means you gonna act like you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You close it up. Shalom. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. I, my fault. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rakwah Kadash. Shalom to all the Aqua and Akim out there. Shalom. Shalom.